Medical malpractice cases are difficult. We encounter this many times. So I digress for a second. We encounter this many times. People call us and say, I was in a, a very bad accident and I was badly injured. Um, and I think that as a result of this, something happened in the hospital that made my injury much worse. And I want to discuss with you uh, about a medical malpractice case. And so we say, well, what happened? Because the person who caused the accident in our law, under our law, is responsible for everything that follows, including anything that happened in the hospital that was a bad outcome. So then the question is, uh, where's what about the accident, the automobile accident uh, situation? Oh, well, uh, I have a lawyer for that. And then we always say, you do? Well, why isn't that lawyer representing you for your medical malpractice case? Well, that lawyer says he just doesn't do that kind of work. So here's the fact with this, which isn't pleasant, but we encounter it often enough, and I'll pass it on, that the lawyers are taking the easy case. The easy case is the automobile accident, maybe result of a liability insurance policy of, say, $300,000. Person has a $2 million claim. The lawyer gets the $300,000, and they settle it right away, and they charge $100,000, and then they tell the client, well, I'm really not qualified to handle this medical malpractice. You need to find somebody like Kerrigan, you know, or, or Kerrigan Estes, and, and uh, let, them, let them take a look at this thing. Because at that point, the lawyer's taken the cream of the, uh, off the top, and they now have a client that's coming to us facing years of litigation when in fact we can't take that case because it's been compromised by the lawyer who's been representing them, okay? Because we would have approached the case entirely differently had we had the client call us initially. And so we reject those cases. We do not get involved in cases where people have hired another lawyer and that other lawyer has rushed to get the case settled and maybe not rushed, but gotten the case settled, gotten their money, because the easy money is the automobile accident case. If you know, if you, when you see these uh, ads, and it's amusing to me to see the ads about, I'm an expert uh, in truck cases. Uh, I'm an expert in drunk driving cases. Well, what they're saying is they're an expert in cases in which there's a lot of money involved. Because in trucking accidents, there's almost always major liability insurance policies. And in drunk driver cases, a 10th grader could try the case because juries get angry at somebody who's drunk and gets out there and hurts somebody, maims them, or kills them. Drunk driving cases are, are simple cases, and they're very lucrative for lawyers to, uh, to get. So uh, same thing with trucking accidents. And uh, th those are the easy cases. The medical malpractice cases are exceedingly difficult, and they can't be just cavalierly done by sending a letter to a doctor and saying, I want $300,000. I mean, it's just not going to work. might work in an automobile accident case, a drunk driver case, or a truck driving case. So really what these ads are saying is, listen, I'm an expert in what will be an easy case and lots of money. Now, maybe they have some level of expertise. I'm not saying they don't, but that's why they're advertising for it uh, because those cases pay really well. Um, and there are big rewards. And if you'll notice, you don't see many lawyers advertising for medical malpractice, some, but not very many, because they are very difficult and they take a long time to bring to conclusion.